All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel and today we're going to be talking about a gaming chair company that recently got themselves into a pretty big controversy. You guys know that on social media what you say nowadays definitely has to be a little bit more curated and thought out than it had to be in the past. I mean, 10 years ago you could pretty much get away with saying just about anything online. People didn't really care. But now, especially if you're like a name brand or you're a company or an influencer or anything like that, you really do have to be careful with what you're putting out there, man, because it can definitely lead to some backlash to say the least. And that's exactly what happened in the case that we're going to be taking a look at today. So I don't know if you guys know what Vertigear is. It is a gaming chair company. Uh, they are one of the, I think, more well-known ones, but... Let me just go ahead and say this real quick. I also don't understand the hype around gaming chairs, man. Like, I have a gaming chair and everything. I've had a couple of them. They genuinely are not worth the hype, right? Like, people legitimately take gaming chairs like they're like they're buying Yeezys or something, bro. Like, people freak out over DX racers and all these different chairs, and I just really couldn't care less. As someone who works at a desk pretty much for a living, I mean, I trade stocks and make YouTube videos... A chair being comfortable is extremely important to me, and a lot of these gaming chairs, they really are not that comfortable. Or after they lose the padding in like 3-4 months of like constant use, and they lose that brand new feel, they're, they're pretty much just uncomfortable as all, like all hell, bro. Like you might as well, you'd be better off going to like Office Max or something most of the time, and just buying a chair that they have there. Now that I have that out of the way though, this is going to be revolving around Vertigear, which once again, one of the largest uh, gaming chair companies on the planet. Well, they've actually been accused of being sexist on social media uh, over one meme in particular, but in all reality, this is kind of a pattern of memes that are now getting brought up. They've been making some quote-unquote edgy humor or uh, like edgy jokes now for a while on their social media. Vertigear, a self-proclaimed quote top gamer chair brand trusted by many esports teams, is now under fire by everyone else for trying to turn a sexist joke into an edgy meme. Last Sunday night, the chair company posted a mock-up side-by-side -side comparison of male streamers versus female streamers. In the guy's feed, he is barely visible, while the woman's feed, the ratios are reversed. Is this accurate? Vertigear tweeted with three crying laughy, uh, laughing emoji for good measure. So you're basically taking a look at it right here. This is uh, the meme that got everybody worked up. And uh, with the guy, you know, it looks like an average stream, right? You know, you got the little webcam down on the bottom left, the gameplay all the way on the screen and everything here. Then with the woman, of course, uh, she is actually front and center, the largest thing on the screen, and the gameplay, which is what people traditionally would watch a stream like this for, is pretty much just cornered down in the bottom right. Now before we get any further, I'm just going to say there is a little bit of truth to some of this. I mean, I have seen countless women, honestly, stream just like this. Like, you'll open their stream and it's like them sometimes wearing like, you know revealing clothing or whatever like we've seen the hot tub streams that were like a, a big controversy on twitch in the last couple months like there definitely is a little bit of truth to this because most men obviously do not have the sex appeal to really make that work on their streams but at the same time i mean obviously not really appropriate for a company to tweet i mean if like a dude with 20 followers tweeted this it wouldn't really be a big deal but i mean when you're a verified brand on twitter you can't really get away with saying things like this man by the time most people saw it, however, the tweet was already failing to load. Quote, you deleted it, but you can't pretend that that wasn't tweeted, Vertigear wrote Facebook streamer Miss Henley. Quote, you owe the women in the industry a major apology. This morning, the chair company tried to pay that debt with one of the longer notes app apologies I've come across in recent memory. Quote, discrimination and bias are the opposite of what we want to create, and they completely jeopardize the values we stand for. Honestly, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys the full apology. So you're seeing the full apology here on your screen. If I'm being honest, man, I, I cannot read this entire thing. If I do, this video is going to be absolutely too long because I believe there's another tweet that they made that's also like a five-paragraph essay. And if you want to read this, go ahead and pause the video now. Vertigear went on to write that it's put new measures in place and created a, quote, more defined guideline to try and prevent itself from peddling misogyny in the future. But as Twitch partner Locale TV pointed out, this was far from a one-time deal for the gaming brand. Screenshots of four past tweets, including three from 2021, showed Vertigear engaging in other toxic stereotypes, seemingly in a play to look cool to the type of people who regularly make Twitch chats a cesspool. In the meantime, some people are calling for gaming influencers to not display any Vertigear chairs in their streams and for esports events to not use its chairs as prizes at events. And for every other aspiring gaming brand out there, a simple reminder, you don't have to tweet sexist shit or at all for that matter. Vertigear went on to actually issue a second apology for the continued pattern of 
tweeting that has actually got them in controversy even further than just the first one here. Once again, you can pause this if you'd like to read it. Very generic company apologies if I do say so myself, but I kept hearing about how like this was a pattern of constant, you know, toxicity and ignorance and whatnot coming from this company through their tweets. And so I went through the replies and I did a little bit of digging and everything to go ahead and find some of the screenshots of some of these previous tweets. And man, I got to say, there's actually a pretty good amount of them that are considered extremely controversial. So I'm going to go ahead and just lay all these tweets out for you here. We'll go ahead and take a look at through all of these. You can see this one here, uh, 10 million R-words strong to Linus Tech Tips. That's a very weird response, but it just, it, it doesn't even, I don't even get like where a brand like this would get off even putting this out because like this was just bound to become controversial, I think. What's hotter, your dream girl or the latest CPUs? I respect women too. How about Modern Warfare 2? That's where boys became men. You'll never find a girl like me again, girls like her. He must be thinking about some other girl. Boy, I want a Vertigear chair. When your girlfriend says all you do is play video games, you. And then I guess this is like for you to fill out. Him tunes into his favorite streamer. Her turns off Wi-Fi. Hashtag toxic girl 101. I'm going to be honest with you, man. With a couple of these tweets, I feel like they're just fucking reaching for straws, man. Like I, there's no way that some of these can genuinely be found offensive. Like You'll never find a girl like me again and it's a picture of the same chair over and over. Like, that's actually a funny fucking joke because a lot of girls do really have the same personality. I mean, and it's not just a girl thing, it's just a people thing. Like, how many guys do you know who their own uh, only personality is like sports, beers, truck in America? Like, it's just a fucking common thing. Most people are the exact same person with just a different fucking name. Like, 95% of people are literally just NPCs. Like, I can't even understand how that would be an offensive joke. Same thing with he must be thinking about another girl and then him wanting a Vertigear chair. Like, it's just generic brand meme, give us attention, haha, we have chairs for sale, right? The joke is that the girl is being, you know, over. she's overthinking, right? Oh my god, he's gotta be cheating on me or whatever. And then the guy's thinking about something completely fucking irrelevant. And then the hashtag ToxicGirl101, if she turns off the Wi-Fi when he's tuning into his favorite streamer. Yeah, that is toxic as fuck. It is absolutely toxic behavior to prohibit your fucking significant other from having a hobby that you disagree with. That is absolutely toxic. I can understand why a couple of these tweets are really found offensive. Like, I mean, obviously the Linus Tech Tip one, not really sure why a company would ever tweet that. I can kind of see like the initial like male versus female stream one too, even though there's like a little bit of truth to it, I think, especially on twitch.tv. But at the end of the day, man, like I don't know if it's absolutely this serious. Like a lot of these just very clearly look as if it's simply just people looking for something to be mad about. I mean, at the end of the day, like I'm not surprised that this happened from a fucking gaming chair company because I mean, the gaming community has had a lot of accusations of sexism and stuff over the years. But I feel like a little bit of this has been blown at least a little bit out of proportion. Anyway, with that being said, though, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at sub to Optimus. Make sure to check out Shop Opti down below. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus. Well, watching Vertigear get themselves in trouble and signing out.